Next question is from Ohara Folk, which is, um, this is more of a security question, but what are your thoughts about Bluetooth keyboards? Do you think there is a significant risk in regards to Bluetooth keyboards? You definitely have a more thorough answer because uh, you already posted this on our forum, I think. Uh, yeah, well, wireless technology in general is generally going to be less secure than like a wired alternative. But if you're going for like a wireless keyboard, I would definitely take a Bluetooth option over like one of the wireless keyboards that have like a USB dongle and that kind of thing, because um, typically what happens when you get a wireless keyboard with that kind of dongle, it's just uh, some generic wireless protocol that the keyboard manufacturer probably came up with or some third party vendor in China that they outsource their keyboard manufacturing to came up with and it's oftentimes not secure, not encrypted, that kind of thing. So Bluetooth on the other hand, uh, Bluetooth isn't like the most secure protocol ever, but it does have like built in encryption and that kind of stuff, especially um, it, uh, they've had it for a very long time. I don't remember exactly what spec like first came out with encryption in Bluetooth, but it was a very long time ago. And then there were a lot of additional security improvements in Bluetooth 4.2. Um, which is itself a pretty old spec already. I don't think there's been many security changes since, but pretty much any modern Bluetooth device should have like solid encryption as far as um, like protecting the data that you're typing and stuff like that. But I would still go on the side of like a wired option whenever possible. That's just a general good rule of thumb as far as like security and reliability. Yeah, and I guess um, I was going to think about two specific products. One, it's interesting because Logitech has their business USB dongle, which is advertised as a higher security thing. Um, and I would mm -hmm. love, I'm not saying it's, it is it is or isn't, it's just I would love to dig more into that and see why they think that's more secure than Bluetooth. Because they advertise it as more secure than Bluetooth, so I'd like to see why they think that is. Um, and the other thing too is I believe Apple's implementation of how they use their Bluetooth keyboards and stuff might be a bit better than default, but that's my understanding and I don't know if that's necessarily true. Yeah, I mean, I think Apple keyboards and mice are going to be following all of like the best practices of a Bluetooth keyboard. So like you can get other products that are just as secure, but um, if you buy like cheaper ones, there's no guarantee that they're going to be as secure. It really comes down to like the individual keyboard and it's kind of annoying that there isn't like a good way to easily find out like what exactly these keyboards are doing behind the scenes. But if you can find a keyboard that like specifies like that it uses Bluetooth 5.0 or later or something like that, um, like a certain Bluetooth spec will have like minimum security standards that it has to meet for it to work in the first place. So like just finding a modern Bluetooth keyboard would be a good place to start um, if you're looking for something secure. Nice. Personally, too, I think if security is the biggest thing, I'd also be looking at uh, getting something from at least a moderately sized company, unless it's a smaller company with a huge emphasis on security. And they have that kind of reputation, mainly because a lot of the bigger companies might have stronger security teams that might. But that's not a guarantee. It's just one extra thing I'd be looking at because it's as we see all the time, big companies can still do really crappy stuff. But um, like I'd personally be trusting something yeah. from Logitech a little bit more than some random like Bluetooth Chinese keyboard on Amazon is pretty much the point I'm trying to make here. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Here's another clip for you. And if you want to really dive into tech, check out our main channel, TechLore, for a deeper dive into digital rights, privacy, security, and more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.